What is up everybody, Eggard here. Today I'm gonna to be going over Yu Kong's kit which just got revealed. What the what is this? <laughs> That's one ugly emoji. Um anyways, I I'm not like entirely sure what she does, but I did read a little bit about her kit here. Um So now you have like her story here. If you wanna pause to read that, feel free to, but character over overview um yu kong is an imaginary type character following the path of harmony her skill can increase the attack of all allies and her ultimate can buff her skill and increase the crit rate and crit damage of all allies as well as dealing damage to a single target enemy so she seems more on the support side um i'm not exactly sure what the path of harmony does i'm not sure what <laughs> any of the paths do um, I should probably do my, uh, research on that. <laughs> um, let me see. Currently, there are three characters. If I go to, uh, Honkai Star Rail here. Um, there's Asta, Tingyun, and Bronya. So, Harmony seems to be, like, a support class. Since, you know, all three of these are support units. And all three of these are really good, by the way. But anyways... Yukong here seems really good. Her skill can, as you can see here, increase the attack of all allies. And her ultimate can buff her skill and increase the crit rate and crit damage while out lately. Like, and she's, this is from a four star, by the way. This is a four star unit. Like, th this, uh, this is definitely <laughs> pretty good. Um, um, now, going on to the traces here, Yukon can resist one debuff application for one time. And this effect can be triggered again after a certain amount of turns. I don't know how many turns. Um, when Yukon is on the field, imaginary damage dealt by all allies increases. So, she seems to be another support unit similar to, I guess, like Ting Yun, but like, I guess all the Harmony units. But like, she. I still think Yu Kong, like, like, reading, wait, where is it? <laughs> reading this, she seems like she can be pretty, uh, like, like, well fit in any team comp. She seems like a well, uh, she, her kit seems pretty, like, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here, but, like, he especially seems more fitting for, like, imaginary type damage dealers, which at the moment we have. Well, right now it's just well, but Luocha will be arriving in a little bit. Um, so I think I think I'm thinking about going for her. I'm not exactly sure yet, but her kit definitely seems pretty good. While she is more fitting for imaginary type buffing, she can still uh just this right here is really good, but it doesn't say how like it doesn't. Oh my god, it doesn't say how, like, how much this, these, like, stats are increased by, so hopefully it says it down here. But anyways, when Yukong is on the field, imaginary damage dealt by, okay, already read that. When Roaring Bowstrings is active, let's, I don't know, maybe your skill or burst, Yukong regenerates additional energy every time an ally takes action. So, this is a pretty great passive to have. I think... Pela and Silverwolf have something like this. Um, can't remember. Here you can see the trace upgrade materials and the character ascension materials, which if I go back to Honkai Star Rail, you have um there she's coming in, let's see here, a day and 17 hours, so <laughs> definitely uh definitely hyped for her. I'm thinking about pulling for her. Uh I don't want to spend too much pulls, but anyways. Her basic attack here, Arrow Slinger, deals imaginary damage to a target enemy. Um, since it's a bow, there's no AoE here, but uh, I don't think her just basic attack is going to be used very often. Um, her skill um, obtains two stacks of Roaring Bowstrings, max two stacks. When Roaring Bowstrings is active, the attack of all allies increases, and every time an ally's turn ends, Yukong loses one stack of Roaring uh, Bowstrings. Yukong will not lose Roaring Bowstrings on the turn she uses her skill. I, I mean... I mean... 
it doesn't it doesn't say like how much this attack is by or like like we don't know if it's like a like a flat number or if it's like that or like a, like a flat number that goes up with like traces skilling or if it or if it's like off like some of her attack or like hp or i don't know like it doesn't say how like this doesn't tell us how she should be built um this is definitely definitely pretty vague if roaring bowstrings is active when yukong uses her ultimate the crit rate and crit damage of all allies will increase already know this at the same time she deals imaginary damage to a single target enemy which since she's a she's a bow user it's kind of expected well actually march 7th also uses a bow but she has aoe in her ultimate so it's different her talent here let's see basic attack deals additional damage and increases the toughness reducing damage of the current attack this effect can be triggered again after a set number uh, okay that's lame um her technique here let's see after using the technique yukong enters sprint mode for 20 seconds in sprint mode her movement speed um increases and she gains two stacks of roaring bowstrings when she enters battle via attacking enemies i mean not uh, I, I, there's there's definitely better techniques but honestly uh from what we can see here i think yukong is like you know this is all you this is all you need really this character overview here um this doesn't this won't tell us if she's like really good or not i'll wait until her full kit is revealed before i actually decide on if i'm gonna pull for her or not um this is like really promising but you know we don't <laughs> we don't know like how much this will go up like she can literally increase the crit rate and crit damage of all allies by like one percent um it also doesn't say like what this is like scaling off of like for example like this could like i don't know maybe like she's giving like a chunk of her crit value and i i don't know um yukong definitely seems pretty good i think I, th I think she's gonna be good like on not like bronya good but like i think she'll be like maybe on asta's level um <laughs> that's that's pretty much it um to summarize all of this information yukong buffs crit rate crit damage and attack for like your entire team not like ting yun who only does one character at a time but she seems especially fitting in imaginary or just like in team comps with an imaginary type character which right now the only one is wealth which i don't have and there's also going to be luocha coming who is also a five star who i'm who I, I don't want him to be honest but if i pull him i won't mind but anyways if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe but that's it goodbye